Hello, my name is Davis Blount, and I'm excited to share with you all my experiences applying English Plus. Uh, and basically what I want to get across to you all is that when you have a passion and add to it technical skills that you'll be able to succeed. I started my freshman year as a political science major, hoping to carry on the proud tradition of Atticus Finch and Matthew McConaughey and the Lincoln lawyer, and soon found that that wasn't my path. Um, I fortunately had two years of reprieve serving a mission to the Philippines where I learned the Bisaya language and I very quickly fell in love with the land, the people, the culture, and everything. And I was lucky enough to find some friends who shared those same passions. Uh, we, we began to ask ourselves, how can we take this love that we have and bring it back with us to America and keep it a part of our lives beyond these two years that we have to live in the Philippines? And our uh, first idea was to make a video. Uh, so we, using the Bisaya language that we learned on our mission, uh, made a video on YouTube, hoping that it might get passed around some of our friends that we had made on the mission, and we quickly found that it became a lot more. Um, <laughs> in a matter of days, there were national Filipino news agencies and uh, reporters reaching out to us, wondering who we were and why these big white Americans knew Bisaya. Um, and we, we decided that we would keep doing it. I did have a gnawing question in the pit of my stomach, which was, how am I going to take this fun experience that I'm having and put it on a resume? I can't say I make YouTube videos and expect employers to come running. Um, but regardless, we decided to plan a return tour to the Philippines. And as we were doing that, I was sending inquiry emails, sending business proposals, writing up contracts, and doing a lot of other things. And I began to ask myself, it, isn't this English plus? I'm doing the things that my professors want me to be doing outside of the classroom while still pursuing some of my passions. I was able to write up uh, proposals like that and, and found very quickly that my skills as a technical writer were increasing just by trying to forward some of the passions that I had. Uh, I'm glad to say that our tour to the Philippines went very well. We were able to interact with thousands of our fans and saw very quickly that this was a legitimate opportunity, something that we could capitalize on, both to continue showing our passion and living it, but also as a business. Um, and I learned very quickly that passion plus the technical skills that we gain in our classes lead to marketable skills and experiences that will make us more attractive candidates for future jobs. When I got back from the Philippines, I started wondering, what, what else am I passionate about? How else can I take the skills that I'm learning in my English classes and turn them into English plus experiences? One of the things that I am very passionate about is music, particularly the local music scene. So on a whim, I started a blog called Analog Provo and sent hundreds of messages to local artists asking for interview opportunities or asking to review albums and started hearing back from some. Uh, because of Analog Provo, I've been able to interact and become friends with Mindy and Dustin Gledhill for their project Hive Riot, uh, Mimi Knowles, Mojave Nomads, New Shack, and dozens of other bands that I had looked up to for so long. My big break came, in a sense, when I was able to meet Court Mann, the A&E editor at the Daily Herald. He said that he had seen some of the things that I was writing, really liked uh, what I was doing, and offered me a freelance position to write for the Herald. Since then, I've been able to see many of my interviews published in print and online uh, as part of the Daily Herald, and have been able to beef up my professional writing portfolio in a different and kind of diverse way. So you might be wondering how this all ties back to me being a lawyer. Um, I still have aspirations to be Atticus Finch, to bring Searsucker back to the courthouse, and to fight for justice. Um, and while many of my experiences haven't led directly to law school, I am confident that I have the skills needed to impress law schools and potential employers. I, I know that I have a diverse set of skills and that, quite frankly, I'm an interesting candidate, someone that someone would want to talk to. I would encourage each of you to take a hard look at yourselves and ask yourselves, what are your passions and how you would be able to take the English skills that you learn in the classroom and apply it to the things that you love? Thank you.